Hello everyone. My name is Rick Walker. I'm the Vice President of the Galleon Theater Board and I'm here today to kind of walk you through some techniques and some warm-ups that I like to use on a regular basis when I'm working with a show. The first technique I, I like to use is trying to get everybody kind of incorporated in singing into the mask, which is very important. Um, it helps on trying to strengthen up the upper part of the range of a vocal singer because many of our shows are written with very wide ranges of high notes and low notes. So this strengthens our upper portion. It's a nice little warm up. It's not very pretty sounding and it's not supposed to be. So it sounds something like this. Which helps, again, to try to get up into that upper part of your register, okay? And then you can take a similar type warm up and incorporate that now asking them to take that out of their nasal cavity, up in that frontal mask area, and but you at the same time don't want them to kind of swallow their sound. And then it sounds like this. And it really tends to help hurt or prevent them from getting up into that upper part of their vocal range. So I like to tell them to sing right at the back of the teeth. <clears throat> and it should sound something like this. And then we don't get that nasal quality. We don't get that swallow duck sound. It's a nice warm sounding tone. So that's one. My next one is just a vocal kind of slide technique or a, a siren, okay? So this helps to try to relax the vocal muscles. We have everyone, male or female, have two types of voices, their head voice range and their chest voice range. So this is trying to incorporate both their head voice into their chest voice without having any kind of like noticeable change. <clears throat> So it sounds something like this. So no break between those two voice parts, those the head voice, the chest voice. If, and the, the, the goal is to try to relax those muscles as you're coming into that spot right where they come to a mix and relaxing those muscles so that you don't get something like this, because this is not good. We have that vocal break, okay? So then we can take it up another note. something like that. And then the last exercise that I generally like to use is a tongue twister. The words are fairly simple. One black beetle bled, only black blood. The other black beetle bled blue. And this is an exercise to help with articulation. With our shows, we have a lot of audience members out there. The most, one of the most important things is that we want to make sure that they can understand what we're singing or what we're speaking. So it's an exercise like this. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. Then we try to speed it up a little. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. 
One black beetle bled, only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled, only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled, only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. One black beetle bled, only black blood, the other black beetle bled blue. So that's just the last exercise that I like to use. And I hope that these exercises may be beneficial to you, that you can use them. You can use them at home if you're practicing on your own. Um, you can get out your phone, you can get a pitch pipe app and you can find the, just push a pitch and try to start there and work your way up on some of these exercises. If you're in another show in another area, maybe ask those directors if you can maybe try to use some of those exercises and see where that helps take you, all right? I thank you all for your time and I thank you so much for helping support our theater here at Galleon Community Theater. And I'll see you next time.